Okay, let me talk about Mirim. If you didn't know, then I played Mir 4. That video is out there if you choose to watch it. Now Mirim is the successor to Mir 4 and it's based off the legend of Mir 2. And Mirim has of this video 50 million players. Yeah, I really can't believe it, but that's what they say. And yes, it's a crypto MMORPG game. And pretty much you can make real money playing Mir 4. And this Mirim is the same thing. In Mirem, the players will choose between two paths in the game. The Vanguard, that's the intense PvP one, it's competitive as hell. And the Vanguard part, this is for all who want to earn within the game, as well as grow stronger than everyone else. There are three classes, Warriors, uh, less Warrior, and Sorcerer. It's unfortunately gender locked and no character customization. What the hell? What year are we in now again? 1986 or something? The graphics for me is a bit bland, but it's sharp. It does look good, even though the colors kinda mash together, but still don't. Which is fine, honestly. I changed my mind, this is really nice. It gives a feeling for the RPG games. Man, this is not too bad. And there's no zoom function. Look at this mount. Oh my god, that's so cute. You get the skill systems and attacks does feel like hard hitting. The attacks actually feel solid. I do really like that. When you first start off, you will feel that this game is a bit slow, you know, gameplay wise. But that also gives you a feeling of the time that you spend. It's not like these mobile games when you are level 100 before you created your character. So is this game pay to win? <laughs> yeah. It's a cryptocurrency game, so people will invest money into this. And it does not shy away from pay to win. When you hit level 10, you will get your first offer, pretty much like Diablo Immortal. You can leave it, you can buy it, it's all up to you. Some people of course invest heavily into games like this for climbing ranks. And here, they will either do that or they will just get it to get some cheaper coins. Because if the game turns out to be successful like Mir 4 was or is, then coin prices will rise in time. But you're not playing this to win, are you? No, we're playing this game to make money. So how do you do that? Well, pretty much you mine in-game. Just like other games with mining and herbalism. You mine ore in this game, you smelt it to bars and bars can be turned into crypto coins. And this game also have a few ways to increase mining yield as well as other different boosts. But it's a fully fleshed MMORPG on your mobile. You will fight monsters, gather gear just like normal games. The thing here is that you use dark steel to upgrade everything. Well, almost. And that is why dark steel has value and that is what you mine. So except pay to win, you can buy mounts, you can buy transmogs and outfits. And all those have different bonuses, attack speed, mining and more. And I have to say that the game does feel a bit laggy. I assume it's because it's just released and it will probably not be this in the future. And just like Lineage Revolution and all those games, this game also need buffs. So buffs is very, very huge in this game. So be sure to stack up when you're farming for stuff. Playing this game, you have a lot of stuff to do. You gear up your character, you gear up your mount, you got crafting, you got various stuff to improve everything that you do. Realms, for example, is places where you get a lot of EXP and materials and even gears. It's almost like big dungeons or elite areas where you set your character to farm for 25 minutes to 8 hours, whatever you like. Rumble is the PvP areas, bosses are bosses, party dungeons, this is more like a traditional dungeon. Then you got the mandala, this is pretty much a big skill tree or a bonus tree where you pick what you feel you would like to have in terms of bonuses. The clans, no need to explain that, codex is a big list where you can place items that you don't need in order to fill out special bonuses. Achievements, this is also bonuses you get for achieving different tasks within the game. So do not forget to subscribe to Achieved. Of course, that's right. You get titles to collect and ranking are of course in this game. Now the store or the shop here is pretty extensive. You can buy pretty much anything to keep farming or growing within the game. The game revolves around two tokens or coins called drones or dogma. Drone here is the base token of the game. This is what you get for smelting dark steel within the game. Now to start doing this you need to be level 25 or higher and have a pass called Hidden Valley Mining Right Pass. Now with these drone coins you can either use it for token transactions or token swaps or dogma coins. Basically you sell it for real money or you trade it within other games from WeMix or pretty much buy your way into bosses and other areas in this game. So if you have never played a cryptocurrency game then this is a pretty decent one to start with. 
try it out and see if you like it. Now what I don't like with the game is minor stuff like that the new gear do not change on your characters, that I said it's a bit laggy, the buttons are a bit small compared to other games, but the game is fully automated so why even press buttons, I don't know. And yeah, no character customization as well as gender locked sucks balls. But I guess that is just nitpicking. So hit that like and subscribe if you want more updates on games in the future and I see you guys again.